Glenn Campbell is the president and director of the Cape Catfish, a baseball team that is a franchise of the Prospect League. Glenn joined the Catfish in the fall of 2022. Before that, he was the co-founder of what is now known as LIDS, the leading omni-channel sports license headwear retailer in the world. Glenn, how you doing? Good, Mac. Good to be here, Mike. It's good, good to, to see you. Um, you are a guy that likes to be busy. I know that. Yep, very much so. so I, um, the Cape Catfish is the <clears throat> latest endeavor. It is, it is. I, uh, man, I got out of lids about uh, four years ago, and um, man, when you're busy as much as I was, travel as much as I did, uh, it, it's cool to relax for a little bit, but um, man, it, it was just, it was, it was too much downtime for me, so I find myself very busy with this catfish endeavor. Well, I think what's key to your busyness, though, is that you try to stay busy with things in Cape Girardeau. I mean, I know, I know you travel and have kids at school right. and that sort of thing, right. but you really believe in, in growing Cape, growing our area, and that's where the Cape Catfish come in. Absolutely, I, I moved back here in 2007, still worked for LIDS up until 2019, so I commuted out of Cape Girardeau. It's very important for me to get my family back here and be part of the community with some of the investments I've made, some of the things that I've done, the people we're involved with, and you're right, the Cape Catfish, I was doing play-by-play, uh, for the Notre Dame Bulldogs and Mark Hogan, who was a GM, heard me uh, and said, hey, you need to do some catfish games. I do some catfish games, enjoy it. Then all of a sudden my, my business brain kicks in and I go, man, you guys need to be doing this better. You should be doing that better. Why aren't we doing food like this? And Mark Hogan goes, well, jump right in. The water's fine. So <laughs> I did. So, so with the, you mentioned Mark Hogan. Right. So uh, Mark's uh, GM, Correct. your president, yes. and you have a new uh, new manager this year, right? We do. Scott Little's a new field manager. We just hired Scott. I've known him for for a lot of years. So we uh, we just hired him. We just hired uh, Brendan Lackey out. Of, Braden Lackey, I'm sorry. From uh, he, he coached at the West Virginia team. He's going to be one of our assistant coaches. And then Jason Chavez, a local guy over at Jackson, is the other coach. We have just filled out our coaching uh, a team and that was uh, Hogan and I thought we may have to I told Hogan if we don't get somebody hired soon you're going to be doing third base <laughs> and I'm doing first and that's not the kind of busyness I wanted. So the season itself it's 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 collegiate baseball players? Yes sir it's a uh, it's a collegiate wood bat league and they and I've learned a lot of this in the last six months is we are deemed the number two or three league right behind Cape Cod and maybe the Northwoods league we're right there so We've got some very talented people. I didn't know this. Go look on the Prospect League website. They're doing 60 in 60 days. So 60 players who played in the, the Prospect League is 60 years old this year. And so they are doing the top 60 players that played in the league. Guys like Jim Sunberg and Mike Schmidt, people that played in the Prospect League that used to be the Central Illinois College League. So the history in this league is way different than I thought it was. Being a baseball buff, it's kind of cool. That's so. awesome. And the Cape Catfish play at beautiful Kapaha Park. They do. And that's, again, we're probably the smallest park. Our, our league arguably has the best facilities in all of the, of the country. We've got, you know, Spring, uh, uh, Springfield, Illinois just put a new stadium in. The Miners used to be, now it's, it's the Thrill Billies over there in Marion. They've got a great field. Um, the Jackson, Tennessee used to be a double-A club. So these kids are playing in some really nice clubs that used to be minor league clubs. And then you've got cap all field, but people love our field. It's, it's quaint. It's a couple thousand people. People are on a hill. People are on the deck. People are on the plaza. So we've got a a completely different field than most people do, but people love coming here to, to play. And I know that's a part important to you when you talked about taking the rain, so to speak. You want this to be a, a day at the ballpark, a night at the ballpark for families, for friends to come out and have a good time and watch some really good baseball. 100% is, you know, Mark Hogan, we, we're the winning, winning this team in the Prospect League the last three years. Um, but again, people don't come to watch baseball. 80% of the people that you poll don't know what the score was. They come out, they see friends, they have a cold beer or a hot dog and the kids run around and they want to be entertained. And so I think we're in the entertainment business. The baseball, as long as Mark Hogan and people like Scott Little are involved, Cindy Gannon will always be top notch. We will get great kids in here. The host families are incredible, but it's the other things besides baseball that we want to sort of uh, ramp up and, and, and take up a notch. And what are some of those things kind of on the docket for the upcoming season? Yeah, it's, it's funny. We're, we're, we're going to lay our promotional schedule out next week, but um, we've got a lot of uh, new uh, uh, sponsorships in there. We're going to do some, some cool things with some local food uh, restaurateurs here in town. Um, we're going to 
We're going to uh, st steal a few things from the playbook of the of the Savannah Bananas. Uh, you know, we're gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna just uh, create things. We're gonna look at what other people are doing well, and we're gonna try to execute those very well. So when people come out, whether you like baseball or not, you leave there and go, man, wasn't that cool in the fourth inning when the players came out and handed out roses to people and took pictures? And wasn't that cool when they threw beach balls in the stands? So we, we, yeah. want, we, want, we want it to be beside, you know, everything besides baseball and we're bringing people back. Did I, did I hear you maybe mention there could be some line dancing even? There could, there could be some line <laughs> dancing. My daughter, she, uh, she danced at Notre Dame and I told her she's at Auburn right now. I told her, you're coming back May 5th. I said, I need you to choreograph a dance in the two weeks you have that you're here during the summer so that we can do a little line dance. And yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna throw out some line dance, see if we can get some players out there. And hopefully by the third or fourth game, I got people dancing in the stand, so we'll see. So but, uh, you mentioned the Notre Dame uh, connection with right. doing play-by-play. -play. You did play-by-play -play for Cape Catfish. Uh, is, is baseball kind of your go-to from a sports side of things? Kind of have a, a particular, and the, the hats, obviously, right. lids. Is there a passion there? It is. Uh, baseball was always my number one growing up. My dad used to take us to Bush Stadium. We'd get $6 tickets and sit up high, and Lou Brock was my favorite player. And so I'm a, I'm a diehard Cardinal and a diehard baseball fan. So love supporting SEMO here in town. And I love all the sports, but baseball is one of those ones where – I, I know it and understand it. You know, I've coached it. You know, I've, I've I started the Missouri Bulls. That now is run by by Todd Pennington, and so I've always been involved in baseball some way, shape, or form. So it's fun. It's fun. It's it's a lot of work. I, I think I underestimated in a small organization how much work there really was, and sure. now I'm, I'm getting a full dose of it. And so. I know you've got interns that help out. You, you mentioned several of the. Of the staff members already, but uh, it, it's it's a wider net than just the four or five or six that Correct. that you see on a daily basis. Sure, Jimmy Jimmy Limbaugh's still involved. He was the president. Um, you know, got Mark Hogan, uh, Sidney Gann, and Donna Wheeler, and then um, Eli Campbell, who's my son, who's doing an internship there for Semo. He's a in his senior season at, or senior year at Semo, uh, and then we've got a dozen interns. We're I'm meeting them every day. They're in there doing social media posts. They're in there doing. A retail stuff. We're going to have some of them doing the PLTV that we do. So um, it's a great internship, uh, and CMO is a great partner to do that with. So as we got about 30 seconds left here, sure. season opener is when? At, or at home? It's at home June 3rd. We, we're on the road for two, and then June 3rd, Saturday night against the Jackson, uh, what are they, the, the Thrillbillies and the Rockabillies, the Jackson, Tennessee Rockabillies. Okay, all right. So And then Tickets are available. Tickets online. We, in fact, we just we got a brand new ticketing system that'll be launched next week. But nine dollars general admission, twelve dollars reserved. We've got the Papa John's Dugout Club. We've got the Southeast Health uh, Home Run Deck. So a lot of ways to get tickets. Yeah, you, you can walk up and buy them the day of the game. And you mentioned that that deck. What a great experience for a business. Uh, an 100%. organization to go and watch some baseball that, on the home run deck. That's exactly. Most people they go, man, I've only been to three or four games, but it's always on the deck. Somebody invites me. It is a great time. It's a it's a fun venue for a night out with with the wife or with family and friends. So come on out and see us. All right, Glenn. Well, congratulations and uh, best of luck uh, for 2023.